Or how would you sum up the heroes of Easy Company, the men you portrayed? Well, I think I think they just you know kind of defined a generation, really. Unbelievable courage, uh, integrity, um, honor. They're just regular guys who rose to the occasion, in in and to whom we, I, I know I personally feel an incredible debt to. Just ordinary, ordinary superheroes. I think that particular generation of men were so, so brave and so stoic about this bravery that you know they'll never mention. Far and beyond heroic. A breed of men that will never be matched. They were, and are, those that are surviving, some of the most extraordinary Americans, I think, um, ever to trod the earth. Uh, I would say they're icons, they're touchstones, they're beacons that we should all look to and emulate. These were guys who voluntarily put themselves in the path of the bullet for the greater good. And that is a commitment to country that I can't comprehend. And quite frankly, I don't think most of us can. And so to watch or read about these ordinary guys doing these extraordinary feats of bravery is really overwhelming. My relationship with my grandfather, who served in World War II, has passed away, but this was in the Navy in World War II, used to say to me, we lived back east, and he would say to me, why do you always shovel the steps with just a path? You just do a shovel length path for people to put their feet on, but you don't think it's the holidays they're going to come with. They're going to come with luggage. They're going to come with shit that they want to put down or they can't carry. They can't balance it. And you're and you're shoveling a 12 inch strip down the thing. You got to shovel the whole step. You got to shovel the whole damn thing. And it wasn't until Band of Brothers that I came home, hugged and kissed my grandfather, and said, "Thank you. I finally understand." And. That's a long way around saying that it was a generation of men that shoveled the whole step. I get it. There's some times in life where you have to shovel the whole goddamn step. And they were a company of men who did that. They were humble men, uh, simple men for the most part, who saw something that needed to be done, something that would put them in extremis, something that would... Um, could easily result in their wounding um, or their death. And yet, um, with a sort of an iron-jawed determination, um, they said, not only will I go, I will go with a unit that is damn sure going to get me locked into combat. And I will do this because I believe the nation that gave me birth is worth it. Each one of them had the opportunity to rise or to fall, to live up to, or to fall apart within the context of their situation. When you meet the, the survivors and you're lucky, lucky enough to sort of have conversations with them, and you, you see the, the, the amazing optimism and you realize, uh, I guess, essentially it's very humbling and makes you realize how spoiled we all are, you know, um, in this day and age and we can get up and go to an airport, fly anywhere we want. Food is re readily available for, for a great deal of us anyways. And, um, and you know, the idea of rationing back then, sharing your food uh, along with, you know, your sort of, your bunker or your foxhole. I mean, it's, uh, it's really too much to sort of, you know, comprehend, really. Interestingly, many of the men in Easy Company did exceedingly well. These guys went on to become school teachers, captains of industry, Taxi drivers, security guards, policemen, every facet of society has one of these heroes in it, and we don't even know it. We move about our day without any concept of what that old timer did to make sure that I can live the life I'm living right now. All the freedoms we enjoy in, in this country are in great part due to them. Once you take off the mask and, and see the truth of what really happened in the 40s, way before we were a gleam in our parents' eye, it blows your mind and you, you, you just can't look at this country and the men and women who fight to preserve its integrity the same way. These are men who basically were told they had fought evil, they had defeated evil, now come home, forget it, here's, you know, here's a new start. 
and it was never talked about again. It was just buried. We have no idea what it was like to do with those guys. No idea. We, we're not even close to thinking we know what they did. In their mind or their, their thought was that they didn't want to burden their family with that, you know, and they were going to just deal with it. And what I, I mean, just, and what a weight to carry. I don't think we'll ever see men like that again. They're one-offs. And I think that's why, that's why we're here talking about them. I'm so happy I got to say one of them. It was a real honor. They did their duty, which is probably all that they would like to be remembered for, you know, and, uh, uh, but they fought um, for liberation, you know. And the best thing that we could do is respect that freedom, you know, that we all have. Unfortunately, human DNA is such that there always there will always be conflict in the world. But um, you know, I just salute them for what they do, what they did. And um, you know, I'm thankful uh, for where we are now, you know. And um, yeah, you know, it's. Um, they're just a memorable company of men.